as I was saying, some of these activities uh, do take place outdoors, so we're really counting on some decent weather. Mm -hmm. But Peter, I think there's a bit of a hiccup on Saturday. You heard, hey? Yeah, you know, yes, it'll I actually heard be... It <laughs> Yeah, late tomorrow I, and Saturday, things will start to actually improve, but there is a chance of showers still. So we'll time it all out for you in a second. But first, nice to be back in the sunshine and heat, isn't it? As you can see here, this beautiful photo taken by South Okanagan, a swallowtail at rest uh, on an Oregon grape and a spectacular shot. Not, not just the butterflies enjoying the heat, but also take a look at this Mr. and Mrs. California quail. Daniel snapping this shot. And they do look like they are enjoying the sunshine. Not that they have much of a choice. Dennis snapping this shot. Uh, beautiful sunset there. And you're going to see a little more in the way of cloud cover tomorrow. I would actually say the fly in the ointment in terms of the weekend forecast is tomorrow. Now, what about today's highs? Osuyus made it all the way up to 34 scorching degrees this afternoon into the central Okanagan around 33 and even at higher elevation areas there was one Twitter user that said even at, at 1500 meters there was a temperature of 33 degrees reported and as you can see these are some uh, heat safety tips be sure to wear light clothing avoid strenuous activity drink plenty of water stay in air conditioned places and also avoid direct sunlight and for sure make sure you're not leaving your pets or people in the vehicle when they it is not running because if it's 30 degrees outside it only takes 10 minutes for it to get up to 42 inside your car so certainly avoid doing that this is what we've got going on in the upper atmosphere upper trough is going to drop in some cooler unsettled air but then the ridge will rebuild for your sunday so as claudio was mentioning saturday looks a little bit iffy tomorrow later on good chance of thunderstorms as an upper level cold front sweeps through and then into your sunday things will start to settle down a little bit too so here's how your next uh, 24 to 48 hours shapes up a sunny start to your friday then the clouds will actually roll in during the midday and there's a good chance of thunderstorms along this line here, basically extending from north to south through the Okanagan Valley later in the day tomorrow into the evening hours. Another wave possible of thunderstorms that we will be, of course, tracking through the day. You can also download our Sky Tracker weather app to tra track it yourself. And then into your Saturday, clouds will be in and out throughout the day. There's a slight chance of a spotty shower. I think this model is overdoing things, but you may want to keep that rain wear handy. Sunday is looking sunnier, though, and this is how much we're looking at in terms of rainfall amounts. Just a few millimeters possible in most areas. So your forecast for tomorrow, there's that chance of thunderstorms through the Shushwap and as we swing into the Arrow Lakes area as well, getting up to 30 degrees tomorrow, 28 for Vernon, into the central Okanagan. These are thunderstorms later in the day. Sunshine to start things off though. 30 degrees for Penticton tomorrow, 28 as we swing through into the boundary region should reach into the 20s, or I should say low 30s as well. And if you were planning to have a picnic outside, you'll probably want to make sure you've got that rain wear handy because tomorrow, Claudia, 29 degrees 25 for your Saturday, a little breezy, but warming back up close to 30 degrees to kick off next week. So it's not going to be a washout of a weekend, but tomorrow definitely prepare for some storms. All right, we have been warned. Yes. Thank you, Peter.